please subscribe to the channel. If you press the bell icon, you'll be notified when Calkine has a new video. I'm Sage for Calkine Media, and thank you for joining us on today's topic, what is stagflation? How to protect yourself and your investments from it. What is stagflation and how to protect your investments from it? Let's find out. Stagflation is generally defined as an economic scenario marked by continued high inflation, high unemployment and stagnant demand. The term stagflation is a portmanteau of the words stagnation and inflation. The phenomenon was first observed in the UK and seven other major economies in the 1970s when surging inflation and dipping employment negatively impacted economic growth. And as a result, investors in equity markets were severely hit. Of late, the term has once again started to appear in news headlines across the globe. And according to the experts, stagflation has begun to emerge as a reality as inflation has remained stubbornly high since a few sectors struggled to find labour. Some supply chains remain backed up and energy costs rose sharply. The global economic growth has slowed after the initial rebound from the coronavirus-induced restrictions. However, the other section of economists believes that it is too soon to think that stagflation has arrived. How to measure stagflation. Stagflation can't be measured by a single data point. What is needed is the examination of various economic indicators such as rising employment and climbing prices over a period. The direction of these indicators is in aggregate. In addition, a broad-based surge in costs of goods and services can be an indicator. Lastly, what does stagflation mean for investors? Investors who have lived within their means don't need to worry about this much. However, those with aggressive investments and non-diversified investments should look for decreasing their risk. And experts advise investors not to panic during stagflation, sell stocks and bonds and invest in safe havens and other commodities. The other important thing to note is to invest in a long-term financial plan to protect your finances. Investors should also delay large purchases, including buying a house. However, if you are employed with regular income, you should continue making regular purchases. You should also continue your savings habits. If you like this information, please like, share, comment on the video below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. You'll be notified when Calkine has a new video. But for more information and regular updates, do head to the website, which is calkinemedia.com. I'm Sage for Calkine Media.